Hello everybody, welcome. My name is Mihir Patel. I'm a chemical engineer. I'm also a project management professional PMP as well as a TUE suit certified functional safety professional. With the grace of God, I had the good fortune to write a composite chemical engineering book titled Mihir's Handbook of Chemical Process Engineering. Today, I would like to introduce everybody to how the book came around and uh, what went behind writing of the book. Uh, in July 2015, when I was in Qatar, Doha, working in a consultancy there, uh, suddenly one morning when my eyes opened, a thought popped in my mind, Mihir, write a book. It was as if uh, the angel of the Lord was standing there, giving the idea to me. I was totally flabbergasted. I was totally flummoxed. I immediately phoned my wife, who was in Bombay at that time, and informed her. She also encouraged me uh, to go ahead with the book. Uh, I immediately took uh, uh, into the planning how to write the book, what things should go into that. It took me two and a half years, but with the grace of God, the book has come out well. I would like to introduce everybody to how the book has come around and what, what things are there in the book. Uh, now, uh, the book consists of uh, three volumes. Volume one is the core chemical engineering subjects. Like for example, you have pumps, compressors, separators, pressure vessels, tanks, bullets, spears, fractionators, absorbers, incinerators, fire heaters, special process items are there. Uh, then uh, uh, there are other, other things also like steam and gas turbines, crystallization, leaching, extraction. Then uh, volume two is uh, uh, what exactly uh, is required by a chemical engineer while working on projects. So for example, the type of projects, uh, it's a very important for the engineer to understand EPC versus EPCM mode of uh, projects. What is field engineering? What is detail engineering? Uh, similar to that, what are the documents process engineer produces like process design documentation. So you start out with PFD simulation, then you start out with HNMB, you start out with the uh, PNID, cause and effect, control narratives. Uh, then finally you end up with the operation and maintenance manual, ONM manual, what is called. Then also what are the interplays between the various disciplines? Like for example, in a consultancy, there are many disciplines, uh, processes there, loss pay is there, piping is there, mechanical is there, electrical, instrumentation. Uh, then you have civil is there. So what are the interfaces which a process engineer has with the various disciplines? Uh, similar to that, you have automation and control chapter, material of construction is there, pre-commissioning, commissioning chapter is there. Uh, then uh, I have also enclosed reference PFDs and PNIDs. Uh, like for example, you have a fire detector PNID, then you have the uh, separators PNID. So these PNIDs are reference which the engineer can also familiarize himself when he is doing working on a similar project. In addition, uh, there are a lot of calculation templates which I have put, 40 numbers. Starting with, uh, like for example, pressure drop calculations, you have pumps calculations, then you have uh, compressor settle out pressure is there, then you have solar pond evaporation ponds. Uh, so there are um, many uh, different uh, calculation templates are there. Uh, two phase, three phase separators are there, bucket and wear design is there. Uh, then uh, there are about 93 process data sheets, blank Excel forms, which the process engineer can use. Data sheets on all categories of process items. Then you have a checklist, are there 25 checklists. For example, when preparing a PFD, what exactly he has to put in that PFD. So the checklist is, if he refers, he can get a very nice output from the PFD. Uh, similar to that, there's technical video evaluations are there. Like for example, you have a water treatment package. So what are the parameters the process engineer refers to while reviewing the vendor offers, so that he's not missed out on any parameter. Uh, and the evaluation of the vendor offer is done properly. Uh, I've tried to make it a very composite uh, chemical engineering book. I would like to say, uh, say a special thanks to my wife also. Uh, it took me two and a half years to write the book and throughout uh, I was working on weekends, holidays and she has been very supportive the whole time and I'm very happy and uh, thankful to her that uh, the book has come out in the shape it has come out all the way through getting the copyright she has helped me all throughout. Uh, please do visit the website www.chemicalprocessengineering.com for me his handbook which will aid the process engineer to carry out the work in a very practical way. Please also like and subscribe to the channel. Thank you.